What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I have the feeling you're about to tell me. You have ruined my life. What next, Dutch? We just need some time. I just I, I need some time. Now, we can't go east, because then we'll be in the ocean, so we're going to have to go north, I guess. I just need somebody to buy me some goddamn time, one of you. You'll figure it out, boss. You always do. What are you going to do about John, Dutch? John? He's in jail. Well, look at him. Abigail, just not, not yet. There's talk of hanging him. It's not going to come to that. Dutch! Not now, Mesa. Not now. I'm begging you to. They're gonna think we're them. The boys are. Please do something. We will. What is it? It's not good news. I guess that. You got tuberculosis. Really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? Take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Antisburg, right? Yes. They, 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 um. It's okay, miss. The others, they, they killed them. You're safe now. Just try to breathe. They're animals. <laughs> Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Just head for the main street. 
it'll be easier to walk from there. Morning to you. Now where was I? This. Oh. Shit. Oh. Thank God. Which place is yours? Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Come on now. Ma! Ma! Meredith! She's alive! Oh, she's alive! She saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, ma'am. Murphy group guys. Oh, my darling. How did you manage oh, to? I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just keep her warm and keep her safe. This is death. Oh no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Thanks, buddy. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. I took her home. Oh. You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dutch! Did you miss me? I found her drunk in Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. Funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and are you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, all my Calm down. I won't be ignored. Dutch Vanderlyn. I am in him. I ain't her. Or any of your stooges. Calm yourself. You don't know me nothing. Miss. I don't know you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry? Yeah, I told him, and I tell him again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who what? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, She's shoot me. Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on me. Oh, you're you not so big now, me. are you? Just calm down. Arthur? Ah. She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You... Damn! <laughs> she knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Right. Get back to work. Yeah. Kind of morning. She broke the rules. She did no such day. thing. She was in love. You sour-faced old crone. God damn you, murderer! Murderer! 
I did what I had to do, Mr. Morgan. Perhaps. Worried. I'm really worried. <sighs> Me too, Uncle. What's going to happen, you know? To everybody. <sighs> I guess folks is going to make a choice. Whether they live or die. And you? I don't have that choice no more. I'm just trying to help others see clearly. That's my choice. You're a good man, Arthur Morgan. Good man. And won't be so friendly neither. Oh. Well, maybe I'll get lucky and die first. Yes. Well, guess I'll work. Vanity won't help you, young or old. I really can't. I must come. He's my husband. I know he's your husband, but it's gonna be. Well, it's gonna be violent. I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But, but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, well, I ain't the crying sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. All right, here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Uh, how many times, Marston? We good? Uh. Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn, just to our right. Oh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out, and let's go get our boy. Okay. I don't think that was 
John. Well, let's go over there and see. Okay. Come on. I think one of those guards was still moving. Keep moving! Where is he? You see him? No! You! Mister! You know John Marsden? I, he ain't... He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now! <laughs> Where's John Marston? Uh, uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go uh, and get him together. Uh, uh, Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> Now, why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Eston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh... He's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Hold your fire! Stay down! Come on. Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Put the weapons down, now! Is Jameson in? He's in San Denis. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Milliken, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four, oh, sir? Oh, very funny. Now, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, Faster. 14, 15, 16, 17. Now, hurry up. Well, this poor fool's going to get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. <laughs> don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Milliken here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! <laughs> it's clear he's in make a work for it! Let's go! 
This way! Follow me! Get down! Hold them up so we can get to the boat! Seems to need rescue, Marst. Uh, nice to see you, Arthur. Ah, uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boss. Let's move. I'll roll. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You, you're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them. It can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off us. I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up! They're gonna be on our tail soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. Ugh. Hey, Arthur! Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go! We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And did we... What about the, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> You're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Rono Grids and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And... Uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so... It might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. Well, Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? 
Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John! John, you are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Oh. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. No real reason. Making trouble for those who deserve Arthur. it always seemed reason enough for Dutch. Problem is, I ain't sure he cares who he's fighting no more. Can't kill everyone. So, now what are the pair of you scheming about now, huh? You goddamn traitors. You, you were nothing but a street rat when he found you. He believed in you when no other son of a bitch would. Huh, and him? You ain't been nothing but a bad apple from the start. You ain't even been with us a full year, and you think you know better. And you? Well, you're the lowest of the lot. Ungrateful sons of bitches. All of you. You'll get what's coming to you. Sure, he'll turn up the. He's a wanderer. I'm really worried. Kane! Come on! Kane! Kane! You. Thank you so much. Well, we ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems. To have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I... I have you as a friend. Was you followed? I said no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And I inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us has passed. <laughs> we don't need a rat. 
We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us panned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. We need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> So, what are we going to say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't write, Dutch. We're wanted men. Hmm. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur, and I want out. And he, he won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Let's get down here behind these crates. Thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Dinsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement, and I intend to make it a success no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir, not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob, and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> 
I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You've lost your man! Noise, Arthur! No voice! Go left! Lose them 
We all okay? Interesting social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew, sooner or later, Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch! It won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to Santa Anita to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go, too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. 